morning, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. The widely publicized case involving the alleged sexual assault by three juveniles on a five-year-old girl in Twin Falls moves to the sentencing stage. Breaking news. In the last couple of hours, a release from the Twin Falls County prosecuting attorney stated the attorneys and family of the victim settled the case with a guilty plea agreement. Three felony pleas for the juvenile defendants. The family and attorney of the five-year-old victim specifically approved the settlement reached. Now, here's a rundown. Defendant number one pled guilty to felony sexual exploitation of a child and misdemeanor battery. Defendant two pled guilty to aiding and abetting felony, lewd conduct, and abetting misdemeanor battery. And defendant number three pled guilty to accessory to the commission of a felony. Continuing our coverage of the assault case, we spoke with prosecuting attorney Grant Loeb's today and due to the nature of the case he said he would not do an on-camera interview with us but he did mention I am pleased to be resolved this case and received a result which was approved and agreed upon by the victim's family and attorney the three juveniles will be sentenced at a later time reporter Zach Rickens has been following the new newest details since they emerged this afternoon he's standing by live at the fun outside and taking a closer look Zach Joe, as you can recall, some of the, uh, it, this incident caused a lot of turmoil in our community. That's especially after uh, some of the details of this incident were exaggerated or even completely falsified in online blogs. What actually happened will remain unclear. That's because the case, of course, has been sealed since it first broke in June 2016. A lot of people have been commenting on our Facebook post about the plea agreement, but we tracked down somebody who actually babysits in the complex. She did not want to go on camera and be identified, but she does say she was glad to hear of the news and hopes for a tough sentencing. Honestly, if it was my daughter that that happened to, I would hope that they lived in prison because no family should have to worry about is that going to happen again? You know, no family should have to worry, oh, we're going to go do our laundry or I want to let my child play outside because there's a playground here. Should now, of course, we won't know when those boys will be sentenced as the case is sealed. As always, though, stick with KMVT as more details, of course, will emerge. Into and fall tonight, Zach Rickens. Joe, I'll send it back to you.